What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl wanted to finally bring you guys some form of a skincare routine, something. Um, somebody asked me to talk about my skincare previously and I have been trying to figure out how I was gonna do this video and I'm not sure it's the best um, iteration of what I could do, but I just wanted to finally put it out there so that in the event that you are really, really need to know what it is and you need to know my knowledge, I wanted to provide it for you all. Now that said, this has been, you know, years in the making for me to get my skin where it is now um i do still have some hyperpigmentation specifically around my forehead and sometimes around my cheeks it just depends on what's going on um and you will see that in kind of the shots that i took of me using some of these products uh so that is that like i said this, this was some time in the making, but if you want to hear kind of um, some steps that I took previously and then also, of course, see the products that I'm currently using in my skincare, let's get into it. So I started off, if we're being really, really frank, with buying extremely expensive skincare to the point where at one time, Drunk Elephant was the only thing that I had in my skincare routine uh, between um, all of the serums that they have. I don't distinctly remember if I tried any of their moisturizers or at the time they had moisturizers that I could use. I know I was also using some Belief products as well um, and also Pharmacy. Uh, mainly their um green green cleanser to like take the makeup off i also was using um i was just using a variety of things just to try and figure out what was going on with my skin some of the kind of uh general categories that i realized really helped me personally was finding a really good active serum for at night now some people are really um able to see results with glycolic acid and other people have to use salicylic acid for me i realized after you know the experimentation that my skin does not really see any results with salicylic but it does with glycolic so from that point on i only used glycolic based acids when i am trying to find an active acid for at night to put into my skincare routine i also of course went through a lovely period where i was using a moisturizer as a cleanser okay so let that seep in and you can see how far i've come <laughs> you really can um but i also currently right now i'm drinking a lot of water i also do work out quite a bit every week so between the working out and the water that's also helping um as they say you know what you put in your body is really what your body is going to kind of look like and smell like um i know quite a few people and i can even remember back to my past where if my food was not the best if i was eating a lot of fast food or a lot of foods that my body just particularly did not um, have the ability to digest you could smell that you could it, it all came out in your sweat and everything so i would just say you know start off with the small things start off with the amount of water you're taking in and your nutrition that really does do a lot of um help with people's skin and then also your stress level if you're stressed you'll see it in your skin sometimes you see it in my skin all the time i'll pop up randomly with a pimple and i'm like oh this was a rough month for me. So take all of these things into consideration and don't only fault a product for not doing its job. That said, I do have quite a few categories that I particularly um, love to make sure I have at least something in my skincare. As I have talked about it day in and day out, I am not loyal really to any skincare product. I will switch a product out in a heartbeat um, as long as it does not affect my skin or something like that. I do have sensitive skin and I have combination oily skin. You will start to see it now that we're getting closer to the warmer months, but the T-zone area is an oil slick, okay? Everything else is pretty much normal, um, but that T-zone is an oil slick and i was feeling myself all winter and fall spring is coming i've already ended the day with the oil slick on my face so fun um let's get into the products that i'm currently using and like i said i did do some b-roll um so hopefully you guys can see <laughs> what it looks like and how i apply it um so yeah every night 
when I start off at night, I will start off typically because I nine times at well, not nine times out of ten, a lot of times at night I have some form of makeup on, so I like to double cleanse. And to start that double cleansing, I actually go in with the oak cleansing balm from the inky list i have tried a couple of products from this brand and i will say i am not the biggest fan of them i did pick up products from the brand because they are the cheapest uh skincare on, available when i went um at sephora but i think unfortunately they're cheap for a reason i don't particularly like their products so with this oak cleansing balm the one con that i am finding is that you have to shake this up or mix it up in the packaging before you actually put the product on your hands otherwise you're going to get like a runoff of just oil and then you'll get the runoff of the actual cleaning balm after and to me as petty as that may seem it's just i don't like it I don't like it why do I have to do all that when I go into my bathroom to clean my face I am ready to get to sleep okay I have to shut down very quickly when I am feeling tired or I will be up for hours so the idea that I have to remember to shake 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 it just does not work for me I don't appreciate it I don't like it and yeah then we got my kind of actual full-on cleanser that i actually use to like strip the everything off so it depends on the day but i do try to use this both day and night um but you know some days i just am not feeling it and some nights no every night if i have makeup on i put this on if i didn't have makeup on nine times out of ten i don't actually use these first two steps and this is the body shop tea tree skin clearing facial wash honestly i have picked this up i think twice now and mainly it's because it's super cheap you get a lot of products and it's available on ulta there are some like fallback products that when i am in a bind i really need something and i don't have necessarily the money to really get something new or to explore and try something and get burned in the butt i just go for these products like this this range i have tried this and the moisturizer and i will fall back onto both products if i need to um i actually like i said in my video no you wouldn't have seen that i will be seeing that i will be saying that in my sunday video i am down to the very very bottom i have to tip this upside down in my bathroom to make sure that i can get all of the product pretty much and i mean i think i might have like tonight's use and then that's it which is kind of disconcerting seeing as i don't plan to buy a concealer until tomorrow maybe the concealer is in store though and i can pick it up we'll see we'll have to see it'll <laughs> things are going to get real interesting around here either way this is a nice con uh cleanser i think it's fine but it's not something that i would rave about and say you have to try honestly a lot of my stuff i'm gonna say that about just because i i like i said i'm not loyal i'm not loyal it's just the steps that i take that i am loyal to really okay and so then what i this is where i get just a little bougie just a little bit okay and i have two products that i use in kind of the essence space um so i think some people actually put their essence on after they put on their moisturizer i actually put my essence on prior to putting on my moisturizer and during the day if i'm prepping for the day i use this one which is from fenty skin this is her fat water pore refining toner serum i use this as an essence it just feels like an essence to me so that's why i use it that way you open it up on the top you will see me applying it all of that um it's a it's a nice product it's nice um i at first did not like it mainly because i <laughs> i didn't know how to get the product out if we're being honest you have to open it and squeeze the actual packaging my brain did not comprehend that so i was not getting a lot of product out and so i was not feeling any slight tingling any effects at all and i was just like what is this but as you can see i've clearly gotten the hang of it i'm almost halfway through with this product and i think it's nice i really do is this something that i'm gonna run to repurchase no uh mainly because i just don't need it <laughs> i have something else actually backup wise um 
that will fall into place when one of these two essences are done but yeah i'm just I'm, I'm so unloyal i'm so unloyal the other product this was actually in the ulta 21 days of beauty this year and this is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence by cost rx um i actually really like this it is slightly sticky so do understand that okay when you put it on your hands it is a slight stickiness a slight tackiness um but when you put it on i just feel like whether it's valid or not i feel like it dries down both of these dry down but i feel like this has a slight stick to it after it dries down to the point that my moisturizer kind of just adheres really nicely this is the essence that i put on at night um and as you can see i am further down in this one than the fenty but i also have had this one longer so yeah i tend to take three pumps of this uh to do my full face in case you um would like to know i don't know then i go in for a moisturizer now history has dictated that when i pick up a moisturizer i usually do a gel based moisturizer because i find that that is the best way to get the moisture to actually penetrate my skin because i am an oily girl but i will say i've really been enjoying this particular moisturizer and this is the ultra repair cream intense hydration from first aid beauty there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here um and what i like about this is that this is scent free so there's absolutely no scent in this product um and it's also just super super moisturizing so if you have eczema or if you have dry patches anything like that i would i I really would recommend this range um, and this brand in particular because I do believe they have either all of their products or they have this specific range that is scent free. And I really do want to move forward in that range where all of my products are ultimately scent free. I don't really want to keep bringing in skincare that is scented, although um, even if there is a slight scent, my skin may not react. It's just, you know better safe than sorry so after my moisturizer it just it depends on whether it's day or night to determine what avenue i go in next but either way i go into some form of serum so if it's in the day um i go into a vitamin c serum right now because i literally um could not find any other serum that i felt halfway confident would not break me out it's actually this one this is the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum um, and this has a hundred percent stable vitamin c and it supports collagen hydration so honestly it was just the roll of the gambit for me to pick this one up i had not intended to actually pick this up when i came into store i wanted a different vitamin c but it was only available online so i had to pick this up and what i will say is this it smells natural if that makes sense it smells not the best but it's not like you know but you know it's not like terrible but at the same time it's not fluffy and like sugar coated like some other skincare which i appreciate i appreciate smelling that like slightly off scent then i know this is like legitimate it's natural there's no fragrance kind of covering it up and that was the big thing for me i literally sat there looked in the ingredients and tried to haphazardly figure out if there was any fragrance in this product and there was none so that's why i went ahead and made this splurge it was quite expensive compared Compared to what I was wanting to pick up that day but I did it and that's that then for night if we're talking about serums I actually have two different serums that I'm currently kind of going back and forth with so they're both from good molecules and I tend to gravitate towards this brand and the ordinary when it comes to more serums because I find although they may not have the special you know three filtered system or process or whatever that drunk elephant or some of these bigger brands do have i find that the actual products are still they still hold their own and for me i'm still young enough that i don't necessarily feel as though i need to spend crazy amounts of money um in skincare to like do this or that especially now that i've gotten my skin at a really good kind of healthy 
place so the first um, oil that are the first serum that I have is actually the overnight exfoliating treatment from good molecules so this has an AHA and BHA and this is glycolic based um, which is why I picked her up I really do like this I think this is now my second or third bottle with this so maybe I am kind of loyal to some things um, and I like it I like it it's nothing you know it's not ne nearly as um, efficient as the drunk elephant kind of the equivalent but it's still good um, it just takes a couple extra days maybe if you have like a breakout or something and you're trying to like really get rid of it quickly I felt like to me the drunk elephant like I woke up the next day and it was gone whereas this one it takes a couple of days but you know who cares if that saves me that amount of money and then the other product that I've been kind of going back and forth with is actually a niacinamide serum from glow good molecules as well and this only has 10% and I did want to start off with a smaller amount because I didn't know how my skin was going to react as I've said before my skin is quite sensitive and it will it will um, break out it will react very quickly if it does not appreciate something that I put on it and so yeah I'm I'm getting down there I'm getting down to the bottom of this particular product and I think after I finish this one I will go ahead and potentially try out the one from from glow recipe I will probably try the glow recipe version uh, just because I would like to see maybe there's a higher concentration and maybe I'll see even more results so I'm just intrigued to see um, what I will see if I try that one so like I said you get the day and then you get the night serums and then after both of those I have kind of one final step that I like to do to kind of bring all of that in and to seal it all onto my skin so for day it is sunscreen so uh oh oh I'm low on my sunscreen oh the devil's a lie I gotta get another sunscreen okay well okay so this is the super goop unseen sunscreen this is the spf 40 this is the broad, broad spectrum uh blahzy blahzy blah this has 40 minutes of um resistance and i actually like this sunscreen so i have gone through three different super goop sunscreens and i like the amount of sunscreen that we get in this it's not too much i found in previous iterations of their sunscreens i got too much and i could not actually go through it within the time span that i felt was um needed to make sure that the product was still good but i also like that this is clear you guys will see you literally see nothing on my skin even after applying this and i really appreciate that um funny enough my friend actually asked me if I wanted her bottle and I said no because I already had this but now I might text her like you still got that bottle because <laughs> I mean wow I didn't realize I had almost gone through it I based on um, being near the light I am down to here so I'm really getting a lot of good use out of this product. I use it every day. Sometimes if I have like a full weekend where I'm off and I know I'm not leaving my house that weekend, I'll forget. But otherwise, that is going on my face. And then for night to seal in my serum of choice, I only do one of the serums that I showed you guys earlier each night. I do tend to go back and forth. But after the serum that I choose that night, I then go ahead and put on my oil. Now I know it sounds counterproductive to put on an oil if you're oily skin, but from what I understand, being oily skin does not, it means basically that your skin is not fully balanced in the hydration department and so instead of getting really really dry your skin just decided to create more oil to overcompensate that's pretty much what i understand so i find that putting an oil on top helps to seal in the hydration the serums everything and to potentially help hydrate my skin overnight and i found that since i've actually added a oil into my routine i found that my skin is just continued and continued to do better now there are different types of oils for me the one that my skin seems to enjoy the best is actually the rose hip oil um and i have tried i believe one or two different versions of rosehip oil and the ordinary's version is what my skin likes the most so this will probably be uh, a 
constant repurchase and honestly so will probably the super goop because i really just enjoy it although i would like to try the like black girl sunscreen too see how that is but that is besides the point those are kind of the different categories now like i've said time and time again i will shop around if there's a new product that i'm slightly interested in and if it will slot into a category that i'm already accustomed to doing and i am running low on the product i'll pick it up in a heartbeat and i can even show you that because i knew i was running low with my cleanser or my balm and so i wanted to try this um alicia archer was raving about this because it was unscented so this is the glow molecules instant cleaning cleaning balm and i picked it up i still haven't been able to use it because of course i still have some of my old balm but i am excited to try a new product potentially a new favorite like she said i don't smell anything at all which is really really nice um and yeah i'm just gonna keep uh trying new products maybe there will be a point in time where i do find a favorite for each category and then i no longer kind of shop around for skincare and honestly that'll probably be a good time in my life okay because then i won't have to second guess what i'm gonna pick up to replace this and replace that but until then i'm shopping around i'm shopping around and i can't even close this packaging good gracious okay anyways i hope this kind of answered your questions and concerns like i said make sure you're drinking a lot of water if you don't like water because you think it's not flavored get some of those like flavoring drops put some orange slices in there put some apples or yeah people put apples some people put strawberries put whatever you gotta do but get yourself some water or even if you don't like that eat more fruit fruit has water in it it does as long as it's not like um uh, artificially grown and then of course already like processed try to get more like natural fruit in it's like natural state but there are definitely different ways to kind of make sure you're getting that hydration and moisturization and then you know if you're interested i do also think that just working out has also helped me too not only with my skincare but my mental health all of that jazz so that's all i got i hope this was helpful for you all who were interested and curious and yeah i don't know i'll see you guys in my next video which will be tomorrow with my new makeup releases bye guys